Hello everyone. So if you're a dancer, a gymnast, if you're into yoga, Pilates, and you just want to get your splits right, or just, you know, that's one of your life goals, today we're going to talk about how you can get into your splits. So before we start, let me just introduce myself. My name is Sandra Faustina. I'm also the founder of Free Movement Solutions. We are a dance studio here in Singapore, and we also offer classes, and we do a whole bunch of stuff. Like we sell our bars, we sell Marley mats and stuff like that. So if you're interested, go check it out. We'll link it down below. But let's go ahead to talk about getting into your splits. Okay, so the first thing that you're gonna wanna make sure you do is to make sure that you are warm, all right? So the best thing to do is, you know, if you're after class, after yoga class, after a dance class, after a gym workout, and you know, you are warm and ready, that's always the best way because you don't wanna be stretching your body is cold. And by cold, I mean that, you know, you're not perspiring or you don't feel hot and stuff like that because when your body is cold, everything is tight, your muscles are tight, and chances are you might get in from that so stay away from that make sure that you're all warm and stretched out okay so some exercises that you can do whether you're at home or anywhere else and you just want to stretch or your girlfriend's house or whatever all right is that you can first do probably some jumping jacks so that will help warm your body up very quickly just do some high knees some you know kicks runs on the spots or if you, even if you just run around the space that will help to warm your body up very quickly okay so just make sure to just do something that increases your heart rate makes you feel a little bit hot and sweaty that's the best all right so that's the first thing you're gonna make sure you do go and chase your pets around run around go catch your terrapins go catch your dog you know do all sorts of things you know just to make yourself warm all right once you're warm that is going to be two minutes of your time out of the five minutes, all right? Two minutes, you're gonna take it up just to make sure that you are warm because that's how important it is to warm up. All right, so once you feel that you're warm and you're ready to go, um, I'm just gonna use a yoga mat. Now, our floor is already laid with a Mali mat, which is great. So try not to do it on concrete floors and marble floors because you could really get it could get painful with that, so just to make sure you either have a Marley mat or a yoga mat with you, all right? Or just use whatever that you have, okay? And then, what we're going to do is we're going to go into lunge, all right? So lunge is really simple. You need to make sure that your 90 degrees for your legs are always there. Now let's do the right side first. So first things first, you want to make sure that when you do your lunge, you are not having a small angle over here. Okay, so you want to make sure that your legs are out where this is 90 degrees perpendicular to the floor. Alright, so this is always 90 degrees. Now, the next thing about lunges is that a lot of people tend to just, you know, sit into the lunge and then just stay here like that. Now, there's no use in doing that. Now, when you get into a lunge, you want to use your body weight, your upper body weight to pull you closer. So, kind of using gravity to help you there. So, what you want to do is you can go into 90 90 degrees first going down going making sure your pelvis is as low as possible but squaring it so try not to open it square your pelvis now once you are here where your body and your legs are at the lowest end possible what you want to do is you would then want to put your body upwards okay try not to be too forward try to stay upwards stay here and you're just going to stay here for one minute. So this is one minute in the lunge, okay? So this is exactly what you're gonna do. You're gonna stay here, you can put your hands up, you can do a slight stretch back and stuff like that. That's completely up to you. But just stay here for the next one minute. So, after you're here for one minute, what you're gonna do is you're gonna start to straighten both of your legs, okay? So your front leg is gonna remain parallel. Parallel means toes pointing forward. Now, you're gonna put your hands on the floor this way. All right, so for those who can put your hands on the floor, put your hands down this way. And your other leg, what you're going to do is you're going to go on, the, on your toes, pushing flat, so straightening your knee, okay? Making sure that everything is locked, putting your feet down to the floor. So you can see that this leg is now completely straight, all right? That feet is turned out, and this one is straight. Parallel, okay? So you're just gonna hold here. Now, 
For those who can, you can start to straighten this. Now for your hips, try not to open it. Try to make sure that it is as square as possible. Okay, and now try to lock this knee to lengthen as well. Okay, you can see how I'm really trying to lock this. So this knee is locked, this knee is also locked. All right, so you're just really staying here. Now, for those who cannot feel the floor, that's okay. That's why I've got our yoga blocks here as well. So if you feel like um, you're still feeling a little bit tight, which is very normal, um, what you want to do is you want to grab some yoga blocks. Now the yoga blocks, there are two different heights, or rather three different heights that you can use. The lowest height setting, the middle height setting, and the highest height setting. I'll show you the highest height setting first. So from your lunge, all right, so assuming this is your maximum lunge, okay, this is your maximum lunge, what you want to do is you want to grab your yoga block, put it to the highest setting on both sides. So use two yoga blocks, don't just use one. All right, from here, you're going to straighten your back leg this way. So try and straighten both as much as possible. So this is holding on the higher setting. Now if you go to the middle setting, you're going to flip it over, both sides, and you're going to stay here. Okay, making sure that both knees are locked. Square your hips. Okay, now you can go to the lower setting as well and just hold it here. Okay, so you're going to hold it here again for one minute. The next thing you're going to do after you've held here for one minute, so you're going to try and slide down your back leg as much as possible. Only your back leg, not your front leg, okay? So you're going to just slowly stretch down as much as possible. Alright, I'm going to move forward into the yoga mat. Alright, so here, I'm going to step here. From here, I'm going to slide my back leg back as much as possible. Slowly, I'm not moving my front leg, front leg still locked. And if this is your maximum, stay here. If you feel like you can go more, go ahead to go more. Okay, so in, the intention is to be able to hold at your maximum stretch as much as possible. Okay, so once, you're, once you can go all the way, then you can just go all the way down and you're ready into your splits. Now, if you're still in your high position here, don't worry too much, okay? Um, the main thing is try not to shift your legs first, all right? I want you to try as much as you can to remove this setting to go to the lowest as possible. So that's going to be your main focus first, all right? So once your body is able to be flexible as well, because you need your back to be flexible. Now you realise that I'm trying to lengthen my back as much as possible when I do the splits. I'm not really hunching and holding everything in. So always make sure that you are trying Trying to lengthen everything. All right, so now let's just recap from the top. You're gonna warm up for two minutes. You're going to go into your lunge for one minute. You're going to go into your straight hold one minute. And you're gonna slide down into your leg as much as you can for one minute. And then you can stay here. All right, I hope that you found that really useful. And if you did, please like and subscribe because it will mean the world to us. We're a small business here based in Singapore and if you have any questions or if there's any part of this whole five minutes exercise that you're that you're not sure of just drop it down in the comments below and we'll definitely answer you now definitely it's going to take five minutes minimum of stretching and practice every day before you're gonna get into your splits I'm not saying that you're gonna get this in one day okay so always make sure that you're consistent make sure that you leave this five minutes aside every day make sure you're really warm and stuff like that and you will get there one day just remember here at free movement we're always here to support you in your journey and always always know that whatever it is that you're dreaming of you can definitely definitely do it all right go ahead conquer the world and go and love yourself and enjoy this time take care stay safe until next week